This is going to be a video on the Firefox message that you will see in your browser. Only sometimes, not all the time, but the message might say your browser is being managed by your organization, or the other message might say your organization has disabled the ability to change some options. This happens with two situations. The first would be if you were at work and your work or whoever's running the network has altered or set up some policies or rules for the machines in there, they might limit the ability of people on the network to change settings and that's why you will see it. Or other times if it's a personal machine at home and you see that message, chances are a program has altered the setting. Um, a vast antivirus and a lot of antivirus programs do this. It's very common for them to do this. So I'm going to show you a couple ways to deal with this. I'm going to go into the upper right hand corner. I've got Firefox open. I'm going to click on the three buttons over there, the three lines. I'm going to go over to Options and I'm going to click Options. And now that we are at Options, we can see the message over here. Your browser is being managed by your organization. So that's under Preferences. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to type in at the bar, I'm going to type in about policies. And it would help if I, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the top and type policies, P-O-L-I-C-I-E-S. And we can see over here the policies are certificate import enterprise roots is true. That is the policy that is causing this problem. Now another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up at the top over here and I'm going to type in about and then the, uh, the colon and then config. Now we're going to get this message, accept the risk and continue. There are a ton of message, uh, there are a lot of settings in here that can completely screw your Firefox up. So unless you know what you're doing, don't change any of this stuff. If the video helps you out, please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like, a share, a comment. You know all the stuff as YouTube people say. Um, if you want to support my channel, you can do that like. You can ask for my PayPal info if you want to leave a donation. Or if you shop on Amazon, just go over to my video description, click on the affiliate link in there right before you put in an order. It will take you over to Amazon. And then uh, once you put in your order, I'll get uh, just a little bit of uh, money as a thank you for being an affiliate. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to go down and look at, I could type it in over here where it's the security preference names, or I could scroll down. Let's do security, S E. So it will take me straight down to where I need to be. And we're going to be doing security.enterprise underscore roots space enabled. And so I want to do security dot. And now we should be very close to it. Security dot enterprise. We're almost there. Dot enterprise. Okay, see over here, security.enterprise underscore roots dot enabled true. Now, when this change is made, you need to change it in the registry. If you can go in here to the right and toggle this thing, chances are it might do what you want, but it's going to be in the registry. So that, the best way to do it is to go into regedit, which is the registry editor, and make the change. If you've never done this before, you just need to be warned, if you mess up with your registry, you could completely hose your computer. So, if you know what you're doing, or if you just watch what I'm doing, you should be fine. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to go click on the Windows button, and I'm going to go over to Run, and I'm going to type in Reg, E-D-I-T. And I'm just going to press, you can press OK or press the Enter and the registry editor is going to pop up. I have to click OK. And I don't know where it went. There it is. 
And I've already done this, but I'm going to go show you anyway what you need to do. So we want to go over, this is normal, sometimes it might be open, sometimes not. So what you want to do is go look for H keys, and we can see these are all H keys, H key, H key, H key. And you want to look for H key local machines. So if it's closed like this, you want to click on this H key local machine. You want to click on it and it's going to open up and then you want to go over to software and click to the side and it's going to open up and then you want to go down to policies and I think have I already uh, done that you want to go over to policies where it's software where is policies policies over there you're going to click on policies and you are then going to go to Mozilla and I've already opened these up, so let me close all of this so that you're going to click on Mozilla. And after Mozilla opens up, you're going to find Firefox. And we're going to click on Firefox right now, and we're going to see certificates. And under certificates, we're going to see these values here. I'm going to separate this so you can see. The only value in here is what I showed you before, import enterprise roots, and the key is plus one, which means true. If it was zero, then it would be not true. So you could go in here and just click on this thing and change the key to zero, and it would completely eliminate the problem. Or you could just go in here under certificates and delete the certificates, by right clicking or you could go under Firefox and delete it. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to click on Firefox. I'm going to right click and then I can go over here and click the key with the left mouse button to delete and it might give me a message saying are you sure? Are you sure you want to delete it? And if I mess up then I might have to add this back but I shouldn't be messing up. So I'm going to click OK. Now, I'm going to close this. We can see it's already been deleted. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut my Firefox now. I'm going to close down Firefox. Okay, so we've got Firefox and it's now opening up. We're going to go over here to accept the risk. We're going to do show all. We are going to do the, uh, okay, it didn't like that. Security dot enterprise. Now look over here, we've got security enterprise roots enabled. We see how it's false now and I might have been able to do that by changing it to false with the toggle thing over here or I might have been able to do it with uh, let's go over to policies. Remember we had the policies over here. Policies, the enterprise policy service is inactive. Okay so we've obviously fixed the problem but I want to do one more thing. I want to go over here where we have the three lines, the open menu and I want to click on options and let's see what do we have over here remember that message remember the message that we had over there before which could say your browser is being managed by your organization or your organization has disabled the ability to change some options that's gone is this gonna matter probably not because as we saw, there were, there were, what, there was one option in there, there was one security policy that was put in there. So chances are doing something like this is not going to change anything. But if you don't want to see that message showing up when you do the options, this is the way to fix it. Not a big issue, but I love to take care of my fans out on YouTube land, in YouTube land. So thanks for watching my video.